Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1799, also known as Mr. Laugh. Yes, we are continuing the Little Mr. series. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-1799. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1799 is to be contained in a soundproofed humanoid containment cell with the other misters in the Hall 34B of Site-55. Hmm, I thought these were redacted. Upon entering, personnel entering SCP-1799 cell are to be fitted with a voice-canceling helmet to prevent communication with the subject. Description SCP-1799 is a male humanoid approximately 1.2 meters tall, weighing 58 kilograms. It possesses physical characteristics of a generic clown, with skin devoid of pigmentation and a circular red nose, along with an elongated face. Its facial pigmentation has the appearance of makeup commonly worn by circus performers. Well, my main question is, why the long face? I'm sorry. Attempts made by SCP-1799 to communicate verbally with humans will be interpreted by the individuals as a joke. The longer the subject continues speaking, the funnier the jokes will become until the subjects are overcome by laughter. Due to this effect, it is extremely difficult to direct and interact with SCP-1799. The most effective means to communicate with the subject is through written word, as this does not activate its effect. The words Mr. Laugh um, Mr. from Little Misters is by Dr. Entertainment are tattooed upon SCP-1799's lower back. Addendum 1799A This note was found on SCP-1799's person during initial containment. Wow! You've just found yourself your very own little mister! A limited edition collection from Dr. Wondertainment. Find them all and become Mr. Collector! One is Mr. Chameleon. Two is Mr. Headless. I still feel bad for, for them. Three is Mr. Laugh. Four is Mr. Forgetful. Five is Mr. Shapey. Six is Mr. Sh Soap. Seven is Mr. Hungry. Eight is Mr. S. Nine is Mr. Hot. Ten is Miss Sweetie. Eleven is Mr. Life and Death. Twelve is Mr. Fish. Four Thirteen is Mr. Moon. Fourteen is Mr. Red. Discontinued. Fifteen is Mr. Money. Sixteen is Mr. Loss. Seventeen is Redacted. Eighteen is Mr. Add. 19 is Mr. Scary, and 20 is Mr. Stripes. Addendum 1799B The following is the interview log recorded on SCP-1799 and its arrival at Site-35. Interviewed is SCP-1799. Interviewer is Dr. Everwood. Forward. This interview was executed to, to confirm SCP-1799's anomalous properties. Please say your name. Sure, they called me Mr. Lab. <laughs> Seriously? That's hilarious. Not really. <laughs> Man, you are a riot. Please, just stop laughing at me. Everwood begins to laugh hysterically, pounding a fist into on a table. SCP-1799 frowns. Oh, that hurts. Addendum 1799-C The following is an interview log recorded a few days following SCP-1799's arrival at Site-55. Interviewed, SCP-1799. Interviewer, Dr. Gears. Forward, 
Dr. Edwards specifically requested Dr. Gear's assistance in interviewing SCP-1799 during his visit to Site-55. Gears was selected for his high mimetic resistance, inspired use, and low emotional response variability. Begin log. Hello, my name is Dr. Gears. SCP-1799 remains silent. I was told you had difficulties in communicating due to your properties. Is this true? SCP-1799 is silent. I was also told that you dislike being laughed at. I do not intend to laugh at you. SCP-1799 is silent. I will not laugh at you, and if I do, I will exit the room swiftly, ending this interrogation with hopefully minimal discomfort caused to you. Fine, but I know you're gonna going to laugh at me, so I might as well get this over with. I don't un intend on laughing. Don as something humorous is said, which I don't believe has yet occurred. Y you're not laughing? You're the first person I've spoken to who doesn't just laugh at me. I don't know what to say. We could start with your name. SCP-1799 leans over the table and waves its hand in front of Dr. Gear's face and sticks its tongue at, out at him. Have I triggered some sort of response from you? If not, I would appreciate it if you refrained from such gestures. Sorry, I'm just used to everyone rolling on the floor laughing by now. I've never uh, gotten this far with anyone before. SCP-1799 sits on his chair again. I see. Now your name, please. Of course. They call me Mr. Lab. It's such a pleasure to meet you, the Octa Gears. Charmed. Now I was tasked with asking you a series of questions about yourself and Dr. Wondertainment. Is this acceptable? Yes, and can I ask you some questions about yourself too? I think it's really interesting that you're not laughing at me. I'd like to learn about that if I could. This is acceptable. I'll ask the first question, if that's okay with you. By all means! <laughs> it feels so good to have a whole conversation. Are you aware of any reason Dr. Wondertainment would have had for creating you? I know he was really into clowns for a while. Maybe he spent some time at the circus? I don't know. I could never really tell what Dad was thinking. I see. You may ask your question now. Why do you think you aren't laughing? Like I said before, you're the first person who doesn't guffaw at me. Not that I'm not thankful. I mean, I'm loving this. I love that you're not laughing at me. Makes me feel almost normal. I've never been one for showing emotions, not even as a child. My mother said I rarely had ever cried, too. Not to say that I don't feel emotion, I just do not express myself well, I suppose. Huh. Now as for my next query. Are you able to recall the process Dr. Wondertainment used to create you? Not at all. I just remember waking up one day 
and that was it. When was the last time you laughed? It was many years ago. When my sorry, it was many years ago when my daughter illustrated me. It was a humorous portrait, you see, for I was colored wildly incorrectly. Aw, oh, you have a kid? How sweet. Indeed. Do you know anything about the location of the other little misters? Um, Mr. Fish is probably somewhere or wet, but that's about all I've got for you. Unfortunately, these answers are not of much use to myself and my employers. I'm sorry, do I still get to ask you a question? We agreed upon this, you may. Alright, do you think you would laugh if I said something funny? I thought you didn't want to be laughed at. This is a hypothetical. Let's say I said something absolutely hilarious right now. Would you then laugh? Perhaps, perhaps not. It is difficult to say with certainty. I am inclined to answer no. I see. Do you possess any knowledge on other entertainment products? No, all I know is about myself. Apparently that's not enough for you guys. I do not mean to imply that you're useless. If that's what you're suggesting, I am really saying that these answers aren't of use to my employer. It is not a personal insult against you. Sure, sure. Do you think your daughter would be able to make you laugh again today? I'd rather not discuss my daughter further. I find no joy in this topic. Oh, come on. Let's suffice to say that she and I lost contact many years ago. The more time I spend my, uh, in my job, the less I could spend with her. It is a tragic thing, but again, it happened many years ago. That's sad. Did it make you cry? No. Wow, you must be some super tough guy. I would not call myself that. I am just a man doing his job. What? Did you say you love this job more than your daughter? It is only my job. I just happen to excel at it. But we are losing focus. We must return to my questions. Oh, sorry. Yes, please continue. Do you possess any knowledge on the current whereabouts of Dr. One Entertainment? No. But I think good old Ed likes to move around a lot, you know? To make sure he isn't caught. I presume by you guys? I see. Now your question. Do you think you would be happy to see your daughter if you were to find each other again, that is? I would rather not discuss my daughter further. I find no joy in the matter. I knew it. You do care about her. I never said I did not. So you would jump at the chance to talk to her again? Are you familiar with the Raleigh problem, Mr. Laugh? Is that the one with the people tied to the tracks? Correct. I was presented with my own trolley problem when I was offered my current job. As you can see, I made my own choice. Where I regret it is irrelevant. What matters is I made my choice, and I must now endure the consequences. So, does that mean you wouldn't talk to your daughter if you had the chance? I'm confused. The most difficult part of being a parent is knowing when you are no longer needed.
Did your daughter no longer need you when you left? Yes, she did require my presence, but she no longer does. Do you think parents shouldn't keep in contact with their children then? That is not what I said. I'm just saying I know what I would like it if my dad reached out to me. Being alone is scary and I wasn't ready for any of it. But you still have the chance. What would it hurt to reach out? Better late than never. Am I right? It is far too late for me to do that. Things have been set in motion that I cannot change. I must accept the facts and move on. At any rate, I'm afraid I no longer have any questions to ask you. Wait, does that mean you have to go now? Like we were just getting to know each other. Yes, our time together has come to an end. Please don't go. Please, I don't want to go back to being laughed at. I want to talk some more. I am sorry. I must go now. No, come on. I'm sure you have more questions to ask me. Please, anything. Dr. Gear rises it, 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 and collects his notepad, moving towards the door. No! SCP-1799 moves to block the door to the interrogation chamber. I'm begging you, sir. Please stay just a little bit longer. We can talk about anything you want. I may not know much, but I'm quick on the uptake, and I promise I could be a co good conversational partner. Please move, Mr. Laugh. No, I need this. I deserve this. Do you have any idea what it's like to be laughed at by everyone for something you can't even help? All I'm asking is for five minutes of your time. Surely you could spare that. I will not hesitate to call the guards stationed outside this room if you do not acquiesce. Please move now. SCP-1799 moves out of the way and sits down in that chair again. F fine Go then. I bet you're going to laugh at me with that mean in every er person now, aren't you? Whatever. I don't care. End log. No, I'll be honest. I didn't think this would work the way it did. I just wanted to see the old man laugh for once. But he was actually able to talk to SCP-1799. Shame it wasn't able to provide anything in useful. Oops, I accidentally read that wrong, but that's fine. Anyway, that was SCP-1799, also known as Mr. Laugh. A clown that is... Probably doesn't even want to be a clown, and it, and everything he says is seen as a joke. If you like this video, please like, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.